When I was young, I had absolutely no interest in being a missionary. But when I began to learn about the many unreached people groups in the world, it moved my heart and we began to pray together about a people group that God could put on our hearts so we would know where to go. He put on our hearts the Cambodians. So right out of college, we left America to the Cambodia refugee camps. We stayed six years church planting in the city of Phnom Penh. It was a, the most amazing experience that we wouldn't trade for anything. But we were so young and inexperienced with so little training that we felt like we were always learning through our mistakes. So when we came back to America, I said to Julie, I would love if we could start a missionary training center and help young people get a jump start on their future life, their success in missions. God saw it wasn't time yet and he sent us back to Thailand for another 10 years to work among Buddhists there. Now God has made that dream a reality. It's called Reach the World Next Door and it's right here in Houston, Texas, the most diverse metro area in the entire United States with thousands of refugees and immigrants and international students from all over the world. This makes it possible for the training to be as practical as we can make it. Early on in the program, students learn to cook around 20 healthy, really delicious recipes. They learn what's in that broccoli, what's in those blueberries, and just how the specific meals can help someone who is at risk for heart disease and diabetes. Immediately, we look for opportunities to use those skills and knowledge to impact the immigrant communities. Through health expos, we find people who want to make changes and then go into their homes. The students show them how to cook healthy meals right there in their own kitchens and tell them how those foods will start to reverse the diseases that they're fighting. That's just-in-time learning and training by doing. As quick as we can, we get out there with the students to make friends with people from Cambodia, India, Bhutan, and so many more. Besides the health outreach, we learn how to make friends just by knocking on the door or visiting with people in the grocery store or park. Students get to learn basic conversation in one of four languages, Khmer, Laotian, Dari, and Chinese. That's because those are spoken by people we're working with. It opens doors so fast when people love to hear us try to speak their language. Another area of missionary training is gardening. We live on the edge of the city and have a large garden. Students work the soil and they plant and then keep the plants growing. We take the harvest and share it with our refugee friends. In the spring, we bring pots and plants and seeds and actually let the children in the apartment complexes do some planting. It's fun to see the tomato plants growing on their balconies. Refugees really miss the countryside that they've come from. So the planting and the gardening, it just draws our hearts together. And there's a lot of spiritual lessons to learn along the way. One of the funnest things that we do is to work with the children. We have a program called Rise High that we do right there in the apartment complexes. With the students and local volunteers from churches, we tell stories, we do experiments and make crafts right at the apartments. Some of the children have only been in America for a few months. They love coming and their parents love it too. They're learning the important values that can help them as they integrate into a new culture. I love the fact that we are significantly touching the lives of refugees. But our program is not just about ministry. We focus on mentoring our students to help them take responsibility for every area of training that will lead to their success as missionaries. We want them to have a vibrant relationship with God. And so we meet once a week to coach them in areas they want to grow. We study the most important truths in the Bible so we can be solidly grounded and ready to share always with an eye to the Buddhist, the Muslim, the Hindu, and the Jew. The focus is learning to share, never just learning for themselves. There's so much to pack into the two semesters of our training program. Besides the things we've mentioned already, there's church planting, disciple making, and how to redeem a culture. But the exciting thing is that we get to do it together, going out as staff and students in the context of the unreached that God has brought to Houston trying our best to depend upon the power of the Holy Spirit. So what do you think? Do you want to come and join us? Visit our website at reachtheworldnextdoor.com.
Do you want to be a missionary to China? Come to Houston. How about Bangladesh? Come to Houston. India? Pick your people group. Hindi, Gujarati, Tamil, Punjabi, Telugu, Marathi, and more. Come to Houston. Maybe Southeast Asia is your mission. Cambodia, Thailand, Laos. Come to Houston. How to reach the world next door? It's our mission to train you for missions by doing missions. From here, we'll go to the world. Come to Houston.